Here is a simple pattern of how you can store and manage items in a spread. The crucial part here is that you would have two pads with the same name that give you read and write access to the property, in this case called My Items, that actually stores the spread. Now this setup allows you to add items. You see I'm using colors here, but obviously this can be done with items of any type. Then um, one more, um, then I can remove items at specified indices. So for example, I want to get rid of the blue one here. I'm choosing index one, press remove, and this one is gone. Then I can insert slices at a specified index. Now if I want to insert the light blue one exactly between the red and the yellowish one here, I would choose index four that places the light blue one exactly here and moves all the items one down. There is a count node that gives you the current number of items in the spread. With a get slice you can get a specified index and you see the, the index is zero based obviously. So if, you, if we have nine items in the spread with index eight we get the last item. Now notice how if I am choosing index 9, I'm actually getting index 0 again. Index 10 gets index 1 again. So whatever index you specify here, you will always get a valid result. Then there is a get spread node that allows you to retrieve a subspread of items with a given count and the offset into the initial uh, spread where you are getting your data from. So if I have an offset of four, then I get all the items from starting from index four. And finally, I want to show you the first or default node, which always returns the first item and the last or default node returns the last item of the spread. And then obviously you can always use a clear node to clear the spread.